so this is my assistant Herbert. You're not going to introduce me? Rude. And I'm Helen and we wanted to wish you a very happy International Sloth Day. So I started this channel about a year ago, in fact I think it was a year ago that I released my first video. I don't think you can see that video because I think I might have taken it down uh, because uh, let's just say I think it was like presenting a weather report I didn't think I was very engaging so that has gone and I think that's probably what a lot of people find when they start a YouTube channel you have to start somewhere don't you so you know I, that's what I did I started um, doing some kind of recordings and some vlogs and some of them have turned out half okay so there is some stuff um, uh, on the channel now I think I'm a lot more organized I know kind of what I want to do um, moving forward I have also updated some of my kit in including my phone that was so old that it wasn't uh, updating apps anymore and that was an issue obviously with OS maps and my banking apps so um, a few things have had to change um, my laptop for example sounded like it was going to take off at any moment and was developing a lot of quirks and wasn't loading up websites properly and anyone who's done video editing on a quirky uh, laptop will know that that's a painful experience so yeah so there's been quite a lot of tech stuff to learn over the past year but I have been out for some walks and I have been some more camping and I've absolutely loved everything about this if I'm honest it's just made me come alive in so many ways so I'm really looking forward to the next few months Um, I'll let you know a little bit of what's coming up Um, I have this lovely rucksack oh, I'm getting old um, it's the Tempest 34 it is the quirkiest uh, rucksack I have ever owned it's got this kind of triangle bucket lid um, I wasn't sure if I would like it or not but I have fallen in love with this so yes look forward to um, getting a review of this this will probably be my first ever review so be patient with me so also we'll be going through um, why I bought this jet foil it's the micro mode and it's got the um, regulator that is really good for cold weather and my health is generally that little bit better during the winter um, so I needed something that was going to perform so I do a little bit of a comparison on stoves and why I chose this one in particular I have used this a lot even on day walks and also my wild camps so it's got some really good use and I'm really glad that I got this I'm also going to try and explain this succinctly but I've been doing a bit of a project on flasks and their performance I went on a walk um, I don't know last year sometime and uh, my flask did not perform very well and I had lukewarm water when I got to wherever I was going to and I got grumpy about that so I decided to have a little look at um, what flasks perform like and how hot they keep uh, water hot for so I basically with the flasks that I've got I boiled some water took the temperature um, of it as it as it was in the flask and then every hour I took the temperature and I did that for 12 hours and then did another one at another reading about 18 hours later so I've done a really big project on that um, I don't have a massive selection of flasks but you'll get a good idea of what flasks perform well and I think that's probably the take home that will be from this it's not so much that you need a really expensive flask but it's just really helpful to know how long it's going to stay hot for because there's just nothing worse than getting to your spot trying to make yourself a hot chocolate and finding it cold that is not my idea of a good day out so trip wise i think i'm going to try and get to either the lake district or scotland um, I may probably do a bit of like a base myself somewhere and then explore for a few days rather than do a like a long distance path or something where I'm trying to get somewhere. Um, I think health wise I just think it's sensible for me to do a bit of a kind of easier um, thing to plan and something that's um, variable so that I can pick something that's, that's a bit more arduous or I can um, decide nearer the time whether I want a longer walk um, or 
or a shorter one. And so I'm really looking forward to that. And I've got some more wild camps planned. Um, I'm hoping to do much more of those, um, definitely. Uh, I'm getting a mat end of the month that will be exactly what I need, a bit shorter. I can put a rucksack at the end, which means I can utilise the space. I don't want to get a bigger tent um, because I am really keen to, um, basically, I don't want to have something that's going to be um, in winter that's going to take a long time to heat up. So I am only small, I don't need a huge tent and I think I'll keep warmer in the compact tent that I've got and it is uh, pretty weatherproof and I think if I was going out in particular winter conditions I probably would just need to be more careful where and how I pitch it. Um, so that might be a bit of a learning curve but I, I'm really happy with my home one compact tent so I don't plan on changing that um, anytime soon but if I do fancy a, a four season tent then obviously who knows um but yeah i think some kit tweaks um and then i i'm, I'm just going to keep on going with the wild camps um, so that is probably about it oh another thing i am definitely getting a website going i think it'll be live next week um again with the whole tech thing i did not realize quite how um draining on my brain um searching for a website would be and it's not that hard it's just my brain just doesn't compute things very well sometimes and I, I just like things to be properly done and I think I'm just going to have to let that go a little bit and just work with what I've got and I can always change things a bit later so I think that's where I'm at and I will love and leave you and wish you a really really lovely start to the weekend and we will see you soon